welcome back. I'm just going to go into a little bit of depth for uh, what I meant in the welcome, um, because for many of us, myself included, <clears throat> sumptuousness is often a subject that people equate with being sensual or being a certain physical type or looking a certain way or how we relate to partners or people outside of ourselves. And for me in the past, that was very much how I related to sumptuousness as well. But um, having gone through several uh, unfortunate experiences in my life, um, it took me a long time to discover the things that made me feel sumptuous inside. Um, not in relation to another person, not in relation to the world or the media or any of the things that people say we should feel more sensual about or be sexual towards. Um, uh, I'm talking more about the things that make you and me as a person feel juicy and alive and good especially in times like these, it's something that helps us to be in our bodies, to help, to be grounded and to feel truly in the moment so that we get out of our heads, get out of our worry and our anxiety and <laughs> all the stuff that runs around in our heads. And to simply take a moment, be with ourselves, and find the things that really bring us joy and deeply good feelings. Like when you have that good, when you feel good deep in your bones, um, is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about um, putting on some makeup or some jewelry. You can see I'm wearing makeup, which I don't normally do in my other workshops. Um, but I thought for this one, why not? But it's not about necessarily appearance. It's not about um, how we look at ourselves, how we look at others. Um, it's about, uh, for me, uh, you can see behind me here, uh, this is my sumptuous self, my first incarnation that I did that inspired this workshop. Uh, for me, it's things like warm summer sun on my skin, uh, strawberries that I've just picked from the garden and they taste warm and juicy and good and sweet. Um, those particular things, how they feel on your tongue. Uh, roses, the scent of them, the feel of a rose petal, like when you touch them and they feel, have that wonderful velvety feeling to them. Um, I also chose to represent in my painting uh, the things, the inner dialogue. Um, you can't see it now, but one of the parts that we'll be doing is writing out our inner dialogue, covering it over, writing out a new dialogue, and you can either leave it visible or you'll be able to cover it over and put more layers on it. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to be really going into what makes us feel sumptuous. I keep saying that word, but I love it. It's just a good word, sumptuous. <laughs> so we're going to get really into it, ladies. I hope you are ready for this. Um, we're going to get into, like for me, a lovely, I might change though, because it is going to be, you know, 17 degrees today. So I can't promise that I'm going to be in a sweater the whole day. Um, but for me, it's, a really soft fabric or a soft sweater against my skin. Um, it can be small things even. Um, putting on moisturizer when you get out of the shower, just the, the feel of nourishing your skin, nourishing yourself. It could be a good meal. Um, one of the things that makes me feel sumptuous in my body is eating outdoors, um, listening to the birds. It's a warm cup of tea on a chilly night. Things that, think of all the things that make you feel 
genuinely good. And we're going to represent them for a reminder, a visual reminder, um, so that you, no matter how you're feeling when you get those moments where you're in your head, in your head, in your head, you can look at this painting and remind yourself to slow down. Maybe go grab yourself that cup of tea. When you go grocery shopping, pick up some roses for yourself. Um, take care of you. This video series is very much about getting back to taking care of yourself. Um, as women, we give a lot. Uh, we do for others. We do too much for others sometimes. And this particular series is very much about reminding ourselves how to take care of us so that we can give. We can't, you can't pour from an empty cup, as they say. So this is your time to look within, to really feel within. And it may bring up, like for me, doing this exercise always brings up some deep issues about, like I said, having been through some things. Um, so no matter how many times I do this exercise, it, I always have to relate to those feelings first in order to be able to remind myself why I'm doing this exercise, how it makes me feel. And it may do that for you too. I hope it does. Um, but just lean into it. Um, if you need a good cry, go for it. If you get mad, that's fine too. Uh, if you need to go for a walk, um, anything, whatever you need to do to care for yourself, do that. And just work work through it afterwards. Um, I'm also here. So if you need to, to talk, just send me a quick message. Um, hit me up on Skype, whatever you need to do. And we can talk. Um, because this can become a sense, fairly sensitive subject. Um, I'm going to be showing you two different versions, uh, just so you have a heads up. Uh, one will be the face like this one, and the other one will be sort of a full body representation because some of us ladies, we have those parts of us that we're not too keen on. And you'll be able to focus on what's around those and how you can make those feel more sumptuous for you as well. So we're going to try and, and change some of those thought patterns about how you relate to different parts of your body, different memories, different experiences in your life. So we're going to go deep on this one. I hope you ladies enjoy. And uh, I'll be back soon with the uh, materials run through. And um, yeah, so grab your tea or your chocolate or your strawberries. I tried to grab some for us, but unfortunately the store doesn't have them at the moment. Um, whatever it is that you like to have to, to nibble on or to drink while you're working, uh, just grab that and join me back here and we'll get started. See you soon.